Are you planning to write TEF, Test d'Evaluation de Français, the French proficiency exam? I have something for you. Let me give you a short grammar lesson to help you ace that TEF exam. So the lesson is on prepositions. We're going to look at the prepositions A, CHE. What's the difference between your A and your CHE and when do we use them? CHE has that sense of at the house or at the office or at the shop and it's generally used before the name of like a person or like a job description. An example would be CHE MOI my home or chez la voisine at the neighbors or chez le médecin at the doctors that's the kind of feel that she gives and a a is it all they both mean at to be at somewhere but a is generally used before a place a place it refers to a uh, is used with a uh, to refer to a place or a, like a building Okay, an example will be uh, à la maison. Je suis à la maison. I'm at the house. Uh, that's for feminine nouns. Now, one thing with a is that it has different forms. So, for feminine nouns, it's going to be à la. For masculine nouns, it will be au. And for plural nouns, aux, it's still the same au. Okay, uh, an example à la maison. Je suis à la maison. I'm at home. I'm in the house, I'm at the house. Um, je suis à l'église, I'm at church. À l'église, L apostrophe, yes, that's another form, A L apostrophe. Uh, je suis aux toilettes, I'm in the restroom. <laughs> for some reason, the French um, expression for restroom is usually a plural to toilet, toilette. Now let's go to Y and un. When do we use Y and when do we use un? They are also prepositions. Now your y and un are both complements. Uh, your y is generally introduced by your a, which I just explained. Your a, your o, all the forms of a, uh, and then your un, and even your she. Your a, your o, your un, and your she will generally be uh, replaced by your y. An example will be. Let's go back to the formal example. Je suis à la maison. Je suis à la maison. I'm at home. I'm at the house. J'y suis. I'm there. So your à la maison was replaced by y. J'y suis. I'm there. That's what it will literally mean. Je suis à la maison. J'y suis. Je suis à la maison. J'y suis. I'm there. How about your un? When do we use un? We use un as a complement as well, just like your y, like I explained earlier. But your un this time around will be to re we use to replace your de. De means of from your a means to add in your do means of or from just the way your a is used your do is also used in different forms like your do la just like your a la in the feminine version your do in the masculine version so mean from the just like your o will mean in the at the your do from the for masculine verbs do la for feminine verbs de des for plurals like des toilettes from the toilet uh, de la cuisine from the kitchen uh, du salon from the living room okay so your do will be replaced by your un so let's use our let's use france yes good we've used that example before now je reviens de la france i'm coming back from france je reviens remember i went to france earlier je vais je vais en france but now je reviens de la france i'll replace my de la with my un jean reviens remember it to come just before the verb and then the entire de la france will be replaced by your un jean reviens i'm coming from there literally <laughs> okay now take notes mefitwa be careful this a we've been talking about this preposition a has an accent on it accent grave is what we call it your a 
has an axon graph. If there is no axon graph on it, it is something else. It is a verb. It is the verb avoir, the verb to have. When you conjugate the verb avoir, j'ai, tu as, il a, elle a. Mifi toi, be careful. It is not the same as your a, the preposition, the preposition with the axon graph on it. So take note. Now, how will I know? How will I know? How will I know? You will know because your a without the axon graph is going to be a verb. And that's how you're going to know. If you have any further questions, you can uh, type in the comment section. I can answer all your questions. Uh, now you know. <laughs> Au revoir et bonne chance, bonne continuation. I wish you all the best at your TEF exams. I'll be making more videos like this to help, uh, help you ace that TEF exam. Au revoir.